All right, I've been inundated with calls with people saying the hieroglyphs at Carryong Sacred Lands have been destroyed. So I'm a little bit nervous coming in here because this is something I grew up with and many generations of people on the Central Coast have grown up with. Boulders may fall, and I guess they may, every million years or so. <laughs> After a giant earthquake or during a giant earthquake. Well, that wall's still intact. It's good to see. Oh geez. That wall's still intact. What have they done here? Well to me it looks a thousand times more dangerous than it was before. And I'm guessing that they're not finished. It looks like they've just trashed around a quarter of the site. I'm just not going to get in too close and I strongly suggest other people don't. I just needed to come and see what's happened. I don't know if that rock's, that looks like that rock's been taken out so that would have had some glyphs on it I'm guessing from memory. I don't know what's behind all that cardboard there. They could have put a couple of massive beams there and they would have never moved. That, all that rock's broken up now. I don't know what they're getting at. I don't know why they've done this. They look like they've just taken off all the, some huge rocks off the top. I'll go and suss that out in a sec. And they've just got in here and chipped away and blasted and of course damaged all of this Hawkesbury sandstone here that's been in its current state for around 200 million years. And looks like they've taken out some of the glyphs along there. There you go. This is what our state government does to areas at the very least that are really popular tourist attractions and part of local folklore. It brings in thousands of tourists every year and other people that gently visit the site and leave. Been on international documentaries has mesmerised tens of thousands of people over the years with the mystery of this place. So all I can really say is keep an eye on what's going on here guys, but I wouldn't come in here. I think they've actually turned it into quite the hazard now. It wasn't, in my opinion at all. And now it is, they're just going to take this whole, I'm guessing they're going to take all that out because that's extremely dangerous. Bloody hell. So here's the top of the glyphs. Let's look in from the top. Jesus, what a mess. <laughs> All this one, they could have put a couple of beams, big heavy beams down there that would have never moved in a million years. They're trashing all this Hawkesbury sandstone. Taking all this out, look at that. It wasn't dangerous before, now it's really bloody dangerous. I'm gonna walk right around here where they've got all this equipment. I mean, I'm guessing they're not finished, but what's it gonna look like when they're finished? <coughs> Jesus. Hell. Why? It's a million times worse. Now you're going to have people coming up here as they're going to anyway, as they always have, and now it's extremely dangerous. What is their motivation? All because a rock slid down there and moved a couple of feet about 10,000 years ago, probably. This is just trust. Look at that. So now that they've damaged all this other rock, I'm guessing they're going to have to just keep taking and taking and taking. This is just crazy. But nothing against the workmen that did this work. They're just doing their job. They got given the, given the gig, as they say. But 
I just do not understand why they would bother collapsing. They've actually collapsed it in. I'd really like an explanation from National Parks slash the state government. Again, National Parks are just doing what the state government tells them to do. But they've created an absolute eyesore here and they've actually made it dangerous now. They've made it extremely dangerous because, again, people are going to continue coming here. Now they've got to take all of this rock out. They're going to start ripping trees down and stuff.